So here we've got our log. <coughs> it's a big old lump, probably about a good four foot across and it's knobbly. Uh, it's probably about seven foot long. There's a saw cut from that end. We'll see if I come back a bit. It's in an awkward position just in the middle of a hedge um, and it's just starting to rain as well. So it's a good, uh, good way of testing stuff out really isn't it in uh, non-laboratory conditions. So you see the new first cut systems there. So first of all it's knobbly so usually you'd be uh, a bit restricted to screwing into the log but here for instance Use this clamping handle. Now you see, we could probably go if you up, wanted up to at that angle, or we we'll slide out of that, and that would have to go on. That have to go on this side. As always, impossible to do with one hand. Um, there's a few things you can do here. Probably actually in the easiest, you can see if I come on the outside there, I'm not going to connect with the log. Um, so what I probably will do is slide that, slide this rung that way a bit, and then we can come on the inside, we'll just come on the inside as planned. Right, you don't have to level it, but I'm going to level it. We probably will have maybe a spirit level built in there, I think in the end. But you can see the spirit levels just slightly over to the left. I've put my hex bolt in that slot there. And I put another, this one's fixed here fine. Um, so again, it's a bit of a two-handed job, but I'm gonna lift that up like so to get that bubble level and then screw it and screw it in. So I can't, I just can't do it without using two hands. So now you can see you've got the bubble level because as I say, if you put one in that point there in the bottom um, and you put one in that side in the slot, then you can lift this one up and down and then pinch it up. So now I'll tighten up these handles here and if they're, if they're put protruding above the rail, you just lift off and slot them down so they're parallel. So actually that one's going that way, upwards. So job done for this side. So here, I've just loosened up these on either side, and then this run, I've slid back this way so it's out of the way. So now I'll just tighten those up again, like so. Same again the other side. And you see here that on this end, the log just dips down a bit um, and, it, and it's causing the rails to twist. So we need to lift this up to here. So once again, we can check. I can see, I can see down that rail that it's dipping down towards me. So I'm gonna lift, probably lift up on the right hand side first. And, and pinch it up there and get that grip so that I know it's all uh, it's level and then I'll put the other um, hex screw in the slot there and then I can lift this up and down to get it to get it flat so you can get your rails absolutely dead flat like that and after you've got the one pinched up in the slot you can always put one in the bottom hole and then that is obviously going nowhere now all these middle brackets can either stay there but you can, before you join the rails together, you can slide these uh, on and off. We might in the end do some sort of drop-in uh, locking nut for these. So you can just drop these nuts in so it saves uh, um, having to actually unslide, you know, take things apart. Um, but you can see on, on this side there's a, there's a gap here. Uh, we can. And you see you can slide these around so it contacts with the log and it gives support over any gap. So if you wanted to, you could take this off and slide it to here and you could have it coming down into, down this gap. But I know that's strong enough um, that I don't need to worry about that. But I mean, especially around the join where you want more support, you can change the angle of this to give you the different support that you need. So you probably only really need two in the middle to do this and the other two you could put down the outside of the rung and then you've got the whole um, rung to sort of play with you know you could put you could then put another support here so looking down that now I can't say I can get it any more level than that it's dead flat 
and it's uh, and it's strong as well. So now I just need to ensure I set the mill to under, just come underneath that long rail there, and that'll be my first cut done. Okay, so now I'll do the first cut. So I've I've got to work from this side of the log, even though it's a bit more awkward because uh, there's a great big hedge on the other side. So uh, there you go. You see here where someone started a saw cut at the end. So I suppose really I should have got those middle ones out and put one here. Uh, oh sorry, sorry, put them here. So that after this, this, there's no way that this bit would have sunk down after I did the cut, but I'll just put a little wedge in, but it would have been better to have another angle brace either side in there. Um, yeah, he's just done, done the cut pretty much spot on. And again, not, not easy at the end with the same sort of thing occurring. But he looks pretty straight. I'll whip it off now and we'll have a look. There's a very slight waver in the log there. Um, probably because it was up up quite high. It's not massive, but I am going to put the... I'll show you how you can put the first cut rails quite easily back on there. Uh, and then take... So if you do do your first cut and it's awkward and it's corkscrewing ever so slightly, try not to think, well, I just want to get on with it. It is worth going back again and just taking that out. Okay, it's getting properly wet now. Um, so I've, I've put those back on again, put the rails back on, folded up all the brackets and fortunately because it's at such an acute angle you can't really use these in the middle for actually bracing because there's a, there's a slight gap there so I've used a wedge. We might do some wedges with some holes in or just use your own really. Um, and also pinned it down through these rungs here so I put a there, there and just this end bit here and um, pin the wedge down and done that and that's got it super flat so now i should be able to set the mill for uh, i know that's 45 mil um, so if i set it for uh, about two and a half inches i'll get a two and a quarter inch plank off obviously make sure you undercut anything that you screw into the log 